When all you fought for is lost and you have nowhere else to go, no one to trust, there is still one man fighting to be victorious. That man is Link. And welcome back to Let's Play The Legends at Our Green of Time with a Twist! So, here we are, stranded from the last episode. You never know what will be around the corner in these narrow paths. Use Z-targeting to always look in the proper direction. This is a useful technique, isn't it? Well, if you say it is, Navi. But I'm pretty sure we can handle this on our own, eh? So as you see here, you have these little spike discs. I don't know what they are, but they are spikes. And they hurt because they are spikes. And as you see, if you inch out into the area that they are in, they will come after you and go for the kill. So what we need to do is, you see a ladder here and you see a block. And then you see this area up here that is not blown up yet. So now I'm just going to do the easier trick instead of actually moving the block to the ledge over here and just so I can climb up. So you have this chest right here, go on and open it up and you have yourself a red rupee. So what you need to do here is get the bomb and wait for it to be about three quarters of the way done and then throw it at the wall. Oh, and that did not work. Looks like this episode is not going to be that great. Alright. So just let it get about a little bit more than halfway, and that did not work either. Okay, let's try three quarters of the way this time. So yes, let it get about three quarters of the way this time, and then throw it! And there we go. That's all you needed to do. Yes, if you're looking at the map, there's a chest that I missed, but that's not important right now. So just slingshot to the eye. An eye for an eye. Come on, Link, fork it up. And here, uh, my favorite enemies in the game. If you watched the last few episodes, you will just know that I love these little guys. And here is where we will get the the bombs also which is the next lizard fighting spot and remember just let them hit you once while you are blocking and go ahead and jump slash twice and one more jump slash should do them in once they come back really easy fight yes the way I'm doing it is a little cheap but it is probably the safest way to do this. And yes, you cannot get them more than two jump slashes, I believe. So yeah. So just let him hit you. And jump slash. Yep. Like I said in the last video, six hits or three jump slashes. If he wants to come over here. And uh, this one is a little stronger than the last, only by two hits, so yeah. And no, there is not a chest in here yet, but don't worry, there will be. One of these days. One of these days. So here's a little tricky part to do. So just hit that eye, come over here you see a little, little cave or indentation in the wall, I don't know what to call it, but yes, just hit that and the other flames extinguished. So, I've been thinking about doing a second LP alongside this, and I know Zelda is quite a well-known game. I was thinking about doing a an old old school game. One that is slightly less well known though. Possibly one of the Final Fantasy series. And here we get the bomb bag. This bomb holding bag is made from a Dodongo's stomach. 
you found 20 bombs inside. And these are what we will be using for the rest of the dungeon. So I'm just going to set them on to the right button and we can be on our way. Just going to go ahead and grab these pots as well. As I need a couple hearts and maybe a ruby. So yeah, now we have the bombs. We have That is the only weapon item that you get in this dungeon. Go ahead and step on that. And if you have played this game before, you will know that we are almost at the boss. With that switch on, the moving platform goes higher. Now you can quickly reach the second floor. Navi, you don't say. Just right here, what we have to do is take the bombs and get it inside the Dodongo's eye. The Dodongo skull's eye socket. So, that one appears to be good. And you see that it will turn red because it's hurt. And go ahead and do that with the next one. That one's good. And you can go ahead and jump down if you want. I'm just gonna hang out on top of the skull because I'm a rebel. In this boss fight, I may die once as due to using my potion over a zombie. So here we go, go inside the little cave. And you will come to this room with the fire keys or piece. One of those. One of the other one. Okay, it's keys. Just checking. We have the fire keys. I would call them fire bats like the other episode, but I think I'm going to do it right this time. Yes, I apologize for the last episode being about six minutes from the usual episode time. I recorded two episodes at the same time, and the timer I did not reset, so I thought it was longer than it was it's about 13 minutes and I made it about oh no I it was 13 minutes and I thought it was about 20 or so so yeah I'm just gonna say sorry about that guys and I'll try not to let it happen again but sometimes it's just inevitable so back to that conversation about doing a second LP alongside of this a slightly less known one it would either be one of the Pokemon games, which I know are widely known, but they are ridiculously fun, and here we have a fairy, so I'm going to catch it. Or it would be a Final Fantasy game, which it would most likely be Final Fantasy V, as, as uh, it is on Super Nintendo, I believe, and PlayStation 1 and I really enjoyed playing that game the first time so I would love to do it again so if any of you guys want to suggest a game to do alongside of this whether it's between those two or if it's just a completely different game in general go ahead and comment on this video and I will check them out even if it's like the worst game in the world, I will still check it out. I can't say I'll play through it, but I will check it out to see if it's worth playing. Or at least worth doing an LP for and if I would enjoy doing it as well. I'm just waiting for these keys to stop hiding. And uh, there it is. And I did not want that to happen, nor did I want to drop a bomb. Let's see, let's... And... Can I find the keys before it finds me? And there it is. And yes. If... Yes, I can hit it. Good job, Link. And just what we needed. More hearts. Which is actually pretty helpful in this run. I'll take any hearts I can get. Doing this entire game with three hearts, it's going to be a pain, but I will do it. As I have done it about twice before, one was actually when I had 
my Nintendo 64, I don't even know what happened to it. One was then, and the other was on the Ocarina of Time remake for the Wii. So yeah, and by remake I mean the one they put in the Wii store. So here we have the first room that is closest to the boss's room, which is right below us. And one of the, possibly my favorite bosses, is just because he's so easy. So go ahead and drop a bomb on the bombable floor right there, and it just explodes. And now, we drop down into the fiery pits of hell. <laughs> the and hardest boss in the video game, but also the easiest. And he's a four-legged dongo this time. Here we meet... In a minute. Any minute now. Say hello to the infernal dinosaur, King Dodongo. So this boss is fairly easy as all these starting bosses are. Just wait for him to breathe in air. To... To breathe in some fire. And throw a bomb inside his mouth. And then whenever he rolls, just equip your shield and repeat. And he will be gone in no time. So yes, yeah, just take out your shield, go ahead and use that, and he cannot hurt you. Because it is a shield made of metal. And everyone knows metal is the strongest. There's just one more jump slash to do it. And he's gonna go on and try and flatten me, but he knows he can't. Yep, just do that three times, I believe. Three or four times. With a jump slash each time, and and there he is. As usual, his body expands and contracts and expands and contracts and expands and contracts. As does every other boss in this game before it explodes. Although he doesn't explode. He simply melts in his own pool of lava. It's quite sad, actually. And I'm not going to take his hard piece. I'm just going to go on through the portal. Because we are rebels in this LP. Yep, Link don't need no heart piece. He has his own heart piece that he created. So, yep, just go through that. And I believe have about five or so minutes. So yeah, and here we have our brother once more. Who looks a little too happy. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. Why would you want to eat rocks? What a wild adventure! It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Okay. If I must. And now you witness quite a creepy cutscene after we receive the magical rupee known as the... And a minute now. Any minute now. Oh, I'm just going to say it. It is known as the Goron's Rupee. And it is two out of three spiritual stones that we have acquired, and we just have one more to do. 
which we will get in most likely three episodes from now as the next episode will be a slight bonus episode with how to get Ponya's song and a couple more things. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Yes. Whether it will be, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see if our brother. And here it gets quite creepy. Like, hey, you did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Yep. Goron after Goron, walking slowly after Link. Pedo Goron, I tell you. Yep. So here we are. And I think we should take Daruni up on that advice and go see that great fairy atop Death Mountain, shall we? Uh, yeah, I could do that in the time that I have. About five minutes or so, like I said a couple minutes ago. I don't even know anymore. This episode might be longer. It might be about 23 minutes or so, but that's okay by me. I'm just going to try and finish this LP as fast as possible so I can get on with the fun ones and not the ones that are overrated. Such as this one is. Even though it's a three heart run and you don't really see these, it's still a Legend of Zelda game. Which is probably one of the most overused games for an LP. Like even though this is my first LP, I just wanted to choose a game that I was really familiar with and that I knew just about everything about. So yeah, so I'm going to actually do this the way that you're supposed to and hope that I don't die. And that way they're supposed to do is, whenever you see a shadow on the ground, go ahead and use your shield. Or you can do it the slightly safer way and just stay shielded until the blasts stop. Which is quite a good way to do it if you have three hearts. If you don't, you can just go and run all the way. And here we have more skull tolas. We'll go ahead and kill that one, that one hiding up there, and there should be one more that we will kill after we get on top of this platform. So just, just crawl across these wooden boards that I'm not even sure if they're wooden. I will just assume they are, and there is not a bomb that I wanted to use. It is the slingshot. Oh my God! Come on, Link. Okay. One more try, Link. Okay, there we go. And there we go. So just climb atop these very, very detailed wooden boards or iron poles, ladders. I don't even know. They're just railings or boards or wooden ladders. What are they? And we meet Mr. Owl once more. But he actually doesn't force us to speak to him this time, which is rather nice. So just bomb that little wall there, and you will open the Great Fairy's Cave. Which is in here. Yes, here we visit our first Great Fairy Stone, and all you need to do is walk up here, you see Triforce. Oh, hey, Triforce, that must mean Zelda. So yeah, go ahead and play Zelda's Lullaby atop the Great Golden Triforce of Destiny. And you will see one of the most creepy looking characters in the game. Yep. I was probably terrified of her when I first played this game. Because nobody looks like that. With, like, that, that pointy of a nose, yeah. And hair that floats. And it's not really pigtails because there's three of them. Receive it now! And here we get our first use of magic in the game. It is the power slash, I believe. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but 
the circle spin. Power spin, maybe. We shall see. Ah, the spin attack. Okay. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the stick once and press B for a very effective quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey, boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who has, who lives by Hyrule Castle. He'll surely grant you another new power. Which we will be doing that in the next episode. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. I'd rather not, creepy lady. Alright. So let's practice out those techniques, shall we? So, just do one quick spin for the quick spin with no use of magic. Charge it up once for a small spin attack. Charge it up twice for a super spin attack. Whoa. And now we walk out and I believe Mr. Owl speaks to us. And uh, no he does not. But you can speak to him if you want, which I'm just going to do. Hoot hoot. Well it looks like you've grown a, up a little from the great fairy's power. I don't care. And yes, just talk to him, and he will fly you down the mountain, so you do not have to take the same path again. And I believe he drops you off the entrance of this whole path, or he drops you off in Kakariko Village. Or Kakariko or Kakariko, I don't even know. It's pronounced, pronounced so many ways, I just gave up on pronouncing it the right way. Okay, so, ah, uh, okay, now I remember. He drops you off right here on top of the, this house, which isn't really important. But I believe, yep, yeah, you can go ahead and jump on down here. And, oh, no, there's a hole in the wall. Where'd that come from? And, yes, there's a heart piece that you can get, which I'm not going to get. So I'm going to end today's episode here. And we will continue with getting some bonus items and songs in the next episode. So until then, everybody.